All right, so I'm over here at my favorite launch key haven launch there. I'm gonna be heading out to the backcountry islands, do some fun stuff. Uh, the win weekend and then some is gonna get blown out again, so I figured I'll try to squeeze something in. You can see the wind is already up and the clouds and storminess is already moving in, but I figure I got a couple hours just to run a couple miles, do some fun fishing. I brought the death cooler, so something will probably die today. And so, check it out. All right, I'm doing the base, same basic thing as I do with the tarpon. Got my pinfish rod and reel. Got my uh, pinfish bait. Bobber. Circle hook. No wire because I forgot the wire. <laughs> but that'd be okay. Just in case I might get a tarpon as well. And we'll get ready to throw that out. Alright, we're just gonna lob this dude out there and see what happens. Maybe get a shark, maybe get a tarpon. We shall see. Alright. Got our first victim on. Tarpon, but shark will do. All right, so looks like this guy is going to be dinner. Nice, perfect size, not too big. So I'm going to release myself and drift out of here and into those shallows. so I can take the hook out. so we're going to bleed him out then I'm going to gut him and throw him in the ice box all right I'm gonna get some shelter and then gut him real quick
Okay, before I throw in the cooler, I want to gut this guy. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to cut up underneath here. Basically just going to lose some of the belly meat, but that's okay. Either side of the fins. That's what we're going to try to remove, is all the gut parts there. I'll keep these because you're supposed to keep a shark all intact. And then we're going to take all the guts out. Backwards. Makes it easier. stuff out of here. Pulling out all this stuff. All the urinary tract that's going to get all that urea pumping through. Okay, and that's pretty much it all ready to go. Make sure this is all cleaned out.
we go. Now I'll keep this so this keeps it legal. I have all the fins. Make sure it's all cleaned out. All right, time to ice it up. Okay, I've got our buddy all chilled out. Now I'm just gonna prep him up for cooking. Uh, let me put a tape to him. Let's see what kind of length we've got. So 38 inches. And what I plan on doing is I'm going to chop the head off, chop the fins off, cut it right about here, and then I'm just going to stake it out. Probably do about four, three or four stakes, and then I'll, I was thinking whether to flay it or stake it. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some marinated steaks on the barbecue and then I'm going to smoke the balance of it, probably two-thirds of it I'm going to smoke and do a dip on it. Well, let me start hacking and then we'll see how it goes. All right. Good. I don't know where to start here. There's the ribs. Might just cut those out. Collar. That's my little buddy there. Okay. Ooh. Do some steaks. rib bones. That'll give you a better idea of nice clean white meat there. These are going to be some beautiful steaks.
Man, that looks good. Let me sharpen my knife up and then I think I'm going to flay this part and then maybe a flay the last little section there. Okay, there we go. We got our plate full of goodness there. Some black tip steaks. I went and just staked it all out. It'd be a lot easier. Um, now I'm just going to prepare the uh, marinade mix for the couple of steaks I'm going to barbecue and then I'll do the uh, brining for the rest of it. Okay, I have two steaks in each Ziploc bag and I'm going to do two different types of marinades for each one of them. This one I am going to do a very basic zesty Italian dressing. Alright, so we're just going to dump that in there. Oops. Better shake it first. Get all the zestiness in there. No measurements, just splash it in there. I'm going to throw in a couple of lemons, give it a little bit of zing. I'll put some uh, minced garlic in there. Hammer down some, oops. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. And that's it. That's about as basic as you can go, or need to go actually. And that is our marinade. I'm just going to coat those, put that in the refrigerator for an hour or so. Doesn't need to be long. The second one, I'm going to do kind of a spicy. And for that, I'm going to be using some soy sauce. Also going to be using the garlic. I have some uh, mint because I was doing some spring rolls the other night so I had those left over so with this the uh, the Thai style Asian style you always want that sweet sours and uh, a little bit of heat so I'm gonna put some red pepper flakes in there and then a little bit of uh, fish sauce to go with the fish and a little bit of a sour, which is going to be some orange juice. And some little bit of brown sugar, just a hair to give a hint of uh, sweetness to it. And throw some lemons in there. Quick hit of pepper, quick hit of salt, zip that baby up, and that's mixture number two.
And on these fillets, one of the things is because I did a quick preparation on the water in regards to uh, killing it, bleeding it out, and then gutting it right away. So these fillets, you smell them, there's no urine smell, no vinegary smell, nothing. You don't smell, it smells that oceany fresh fish smell. So came out perfectly iced down so it's nice and chilled. So I'm going to put this back in the refrigerator so that it could uh, marinate and I'll just flip flop it every another hour or so. And then uh, later on this evening when it's closer to dinner time I'll throw them on the barbecue. So that was a, uh, we'll wait till then. All right, let's get the grill all prepped there. Okay, I've got our two bags of fillets. This is the Italian mix, and this is just kind of the Thai Asian style. So we can set those out there. And these are gonna cook really quickly, so you definitely don't wanna overcook them. So we're just talking like a couple of minutes per side. And I'm going to keep the juices to marinate or just to kind of keep them saturated so they don't dry out. Got some bell peppers as part of the sides and some corn as well. Okay. Okay, let's give these guys a flip. Let's pull these guys off. Right there. And here's all our grilled goods. So let me plate it all up and you can check it out. Okay, here's our completed meal. We've got black tip shark that was marinated in Italian salad dressing. Then we've got the same but in marinated in kind of, kind of a Asian Thai style with the hints of sweet, sour, spicy. Uh, we've got a roasted bell pepper stuffed with red potato salad. Uh, we've got some wild rice, uh, corn on the cob, grilled style, as well as some fried plantains for dessert, and a little dab of lemon for the shark. So let's give it a shot. Okay, let's give this a try. I'm going to cut a little bit away from the skin there. Oh yeah, it's still nice and flaky. So this is going to be the Italian 
dressing one. Uh, you can see that nice and still flaky. It's like chunk tuna almost. Still very moist. You, it's got that uh, Italian dressing hint on the side of it. That is very good. That's a hearty piece of meat there. It is has that consistency of tuna. The chunk tuna. It's almost like a steakish. But very good with that Italian. I understand why they like it so just like a basic. Mm. So now we'll try the um, the the Asian fusion style. Same thing there. Nice, still moist. You can still still damp in the center. Nice and moist. Yeah, it's still flaky. <laughs> you go from sweet, sour, to spicy. So I think I did it right. I got hit with those uh, chili flakes right at the end. You definitely can't miss those. Oops. I'm going go on the inside here. Still nice, flaky, moist. Yeah, it's got to be those pepper flakes because it wasn't spicy on that one. I don't know. They're both excellent. It's a, a very hearty meal in regards to the fish. It's very, um, it's kind of like swordfish or tuna grilled where it's got consistency to it. I mean, these are real thick pieces, so you're definitely going to get your fill for it. So otherwise, that is my black tip shark grilled a couple different ways here. So I'm going to finish up and start eating up my side. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know some of the people have been asking for it for a while, but there you go. Shark uh, catch and cook. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye. Mm. The corn is perfect. Ah.